Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be going over a basic attack system. This is nothing really fancy, it's just going to be using triggers. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it using um, ray casting or um, testing the distance between two different objects. But for this tutorial we're just going to do a very simple attack system that works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new cube that we're going to be using. And this is going to be for the area that we can attack. So we'll make this 10, 10 by 20. Now what you want to do is set this up so whatever you want your attack area to be. We'll probably just set this back down to 10 because we don't want that big of an area. And then we'll mess with this stuff in a second when I show off the script a little bit. So this is the script we're going to be throwing at our enemy. First thing we're going to do is give the enemy 100 health. And then in our update function, we're going to have um, to check to see if the enemy health is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, we'll kill the enemy, just destroy the object. And uh, this time we're going to be using for a trigger on trigger stay. So if something is staying within the trigger area, um, yeah, it'll be able to to be constantly checking if it's within attack area. So pretty much it'll be checking if the enemy is within the attack area. And then here is where we're going to put our player attack. And uh, if you press the 1 key, it'll deal um, 100 damage if the enemy is within that area. So for our enemy, we are going to put our... Yeah, player attack onto our AI and then what we want to do is I'm actually gonna make this a little bit taller we're gonna call it is trigger and then for mesh if you don't want this blocking the area you can disable the mesh so it'll just be like that then oh damn But we want to name this attack area, and we'll find our player and drop this onto our player. And now we want to add a new tag. Call this attack area, and go back to our attack area and tag it as attack area. So we can see if this works real quick. He'll walk up to me, press 1, and he's gone. Now you can also set this up so it does less damage, and you can also turn the enemy into a prefab and spawn them like you do those blocks up there. So it could spawn an enemy every couple seconds, and if they uh, get within that trigger and you press the uh, button, or whatever key on your that you have bound to it, it will kill the enemy and destroy it from the game. And now you can also do other things with it. Um, okay, so if the enemy dies, maybe we want to give our player some XP. Um, 
we will go back to our player health script that we made in previous tutorials and we will set uh, cur XP to static and that is in our player health script so we will go to player attack I'm to make player health script dot XP plus equals and we'll do 10 or we will save all now if we go back in here press one he died and we got 10 experience from it so that is the basics of how to set up or how I set up combat systems I'm sure there's an easier way I would really like to learn if someone else knows a more simple way of doing this.